Welcome to Infa Minutes. We take problem on bending stresses and we consider composite beam. Problem statement is using the transformed section determine the maximum bending stress in each of the two materials for the composite beam section shown in the figure. This is the composite beam section given when the beam is subjected to a sagging bending moment of 80 kN meter. Take EAL, AL is for aluminium as 70 gigapascal and ES versus is for steel as 210 gigapascal. So we have this composite beam section in which the steel section S is of dimension 75 mm width and 200 mm depth upon which there is another aluminium section whose dimensions are width equal to 75 mm and depth equal to 100 mm. These two beams are joined together so as to form a composite beam and is being subjected to a bending moment of 80 kN meter and is sagging and we have been asked to find out maximum bending stresses in each of the section. Let's note down all the given data in the problem. We have a sagging bending moment. So beam will be subjected to compression on the top side and tension on the bottom side with respect to the neutral axis of the beam. Also the bending moment BM is of magnitude 80 kN meter which is equal to 80 into 10 to the power 6 Newton mm and Young's modulus of aluminium is given as 70 gigapascal so 70 into 10 to the power 3 Newton per mm square and E of steel is equal to 210 gigapascal so equal to 210 into 10 to the power 3 Newton per mm square and in this problem we have been asked to find first maximum bending stress sigma max in aluminium second maximum bending stress sigma max in steel so now let's solve the problem solution now we see that this composite section is asymmetrical about horizontal axis so you do asymmetry the centroidal axis of composite section does not pass through the centroidal axis of individual aluminium and steel section. So we convert this composite section into an equivalent steel section and find the centroidal xx axis and moment of inertia about neutral axis of equivalent steel section. So we see we have converted this composite section into an equivalent steel section where the depth of the section is maintained and only the width of this aluminum part of this composite section is converted into the width of equivalent steel part and this whole section is your equivalent steel section where B equivalent of steel is equal to the width of this equivalent steel part and is given by the formula B equivalent of steel is equal to B of aluminium upon M where M is a modular ratio and is given as E of steel upon E of aluminium. So this is equal to 75 mm upon 210 into 10 to the power 3 upon 70 into 10 to the power 3. So we get B equivalent of steel equal to 25 mm.